Life Practice Community. All right. So from your child's pose, start to press into the hands, tuck the toes, and lift up and back to your down dog. Maybe, I don't know how many down dogs we've done today. And then inhale, gazing forward, bend the knees, step up or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Grab opposite elbows. Find a little sway side to side. How are the hamstrings feeling? Are they feeling nice and warm? A bit longer than when you started, hopefully. Then release the elbows and the knees rolling all the way up to reach the arms. Inhale. Exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, turn the hands, step the feet back, plank pose. Getting cozy in your plank. <clears throat> Find those shoulders over the wrists, pressing out through the heels. Pull the belly button in and up. And then bring the left palm to the center, outer edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up, side plank, Kabashi Sasana. Choosing your option, maybe the feet are side by side, maybe stacked. And then we're gonna lift that right leg slowly. See how slow you can go, bringing it all the way to the top of your mat. And then you have to use the hand to help it get there. We're gonna bring the right hand to the inside of that right foot, come down onto the left knee. <clears throat> Walk that right foot a little bit over towards the right edge of your mat. Coming into your lizard dragon lunge. Maybe you come down onto the forearms. If you wanna take it a little deeper, we can come into a little bit of a twist. You can bring that right hand above the right knee. You can bend that left knee, maybe reach back with the right hand. <clears throat> Finding your edge, where that edge is today, this moment in time, and then breathing into that edge. See if you can push that envelope a little further. And slowly release, bring the palms back to center. Walk that right foot just so it's in line with the hip. And then we'll inhale, lift up into a low lunge. So pressing those hips forward and down. Inhale, lifting through the fingertips. And then exhale, right fingertips are gonna come down to the floor into a block. Reach that left arm up and over towards the right side. Finding a nice big opening in that left hip flexor. And then inhale back to center. The left hand's gonna come down, right arm's gonna reach over. Inhale, center. Exhale, bring the hands down, lengthen that right leg. Half splits, Ardha Hamanasana. <clears throat> two or three breaths, find that length in that front leg. And then bend into the right knee, plant the hands, tap the back toes, step that right foot back, plank pose. Shift forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Walk it out. And then inhale, shift forward, bring the right palm to the center, outer edge of the right foot, lift the left hand, side plank. Pressing the hips up, stacking that left hip over the right. And then we'll lift that left foot, then you see how slowly you can step that left foot forward. 
right. Left hand will come to the inside. Walk that left foot over. And then coming into your lizard lunge. Nice deep lunge. Maybe you move that right knee back a tiny bit. And you come down onto the forearms. You can be in stillness. You can find a little bit of movement here. Again, if you want to deepen, if you want to take it into that twist, you can bring the left hand above the left knee. Pressing, reaching the chest up. Maybe you bend that right knee to reach back with the left hand. Feeling into wherever you feel that sensation. What parts of the body are talking right now? And can you hone in on that sensation a little bit more? And then slowly release the hand the foot. Walk that left foot in a little bit closer <clears throat> towards midline. And then lift up into your low lunge, reaching the arms up, melting those hips forward and down. And then exhale, left fingertips are going to come down and reach that right arm over to the left, find that space between the ribs, the intercostal muscles. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, right fingertips come down, left arm reaches over to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fingertips come down, lengthen that left leg. Half splits. Finding that sweet spot. Really pressing down through that left heel. Draw the left hip back so that it's aligned with the right. And then bend the knee, plant the hands, step that left foot back, plank pose, shift forward, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, or cobra. We'll take three breaths here, so drawing those shoulders back and down, lifting through the heart. One more breath. And then exhale, bending the knees, press them back. To your down dog. And then walk the hands all the way to the back of your mat. Open the feet up wide and take a squat. Here, Malasana squat at the back of your mat. Pressing the elbows into the knees, drawing the hands to heart center. <clears throat> Lifting up through the crown of the head. <clears throat> and then we're gonna practice a little hops. So lower body is gonna kind of stay in that squat position. We're gonna plant our hands in front of us, shoulder width, fingers spread, and then we're gonna take a little hop with the feet and the hips. So we're trying to land as lightly as, lightly as we can back into your malasana, that squat. Think kind of like a, I don't know, like a monkey or something <laughs> for these handstand hops. And then we're going to turn, face the side of your mat. So now, once you've gotten to the front of your mat, <clears throat> and we're going to take similar hops. So still in that kind of malasana in the lower body, but you're going to reach the hands sideways, shoulder width apart, and then take a hop to the sides, so even more, a little bit like a, like a gorilla or a monkey. And then we'll go back to the front of our mat. Lifting up and lowering. Transferring the weight into the hands, trying to move fluidly. And then once you get back to the front of your mat, turning, 
Just taking a forward fold, maybe grabbing the ankle, the calf, drawing yourself in a little deeper, slow down the breath. If it got a little faster. Inhale, roll all the way up, release the hands. Come to stand, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach, and exhale, fold. And then bring the feet nice and wide again, coming back into your Malasana squat. Of course, because it's Halloween, we have to do our Halloween crow pose, black crow pose. So the hands will come down, shoulder width. Again, gripping the mat, think spider fingers. So the second knuckle, they're kind of lifting and you're pressing the base knuckles down into the mat. Then lift the hips, bring the knees as high up onto the triceps as you can. And then take a little, kind of just shifting the weight forward and back. Coming up onto the ball of the foot and then coming back down. Couple more. <laughs> like that. And then maybe you can lean forward, gazing forward. Bring one toe up, bring the other toe up. Pull a little belly in and up, find that lift. Maybe you step back, maybe you hop back. <laughs> Take your flow. Leading us back and down dog. And then gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Coming all the way up to stand, bring the right knee with you, finding your balance here. And then keeping the knee bent, or maybe Peace fingers, grab that right big toe, and we reach that right leg long out in front. And then we're gonna reach out to the side, left arm is gonna extend to the left. The knee can be bent here as well. Opening up that hip. And then from here, release your bind and find your way into your tree pose. So right sole of foot is gonna come to that left inner thigh, press the foot into the thigh, press the thigh into the foot, bring the hands to heart center. And then slowly release that right foot and let it come all the way down to the outside of the left foot. So you're kind of Pinky toe to pinky toe, and then find a forward fold here. Maybe dangle the hands, maybe on the fingertips. <clears throat> nice deep stretch in that left leg. And then I'm crossing the legs, roll back up to stand. And we'll switch sides, pressing into the right foot, lift the left knee. <laughs> and you can hold on to that knee. You can grab the big toe, extend the leg. <clears throat> Finding your drishti, that focal point that's not moving. And then we'll open up that left leg out to the left side. The right arm will extend to the right. And then slowly bend the knee, releasing that bind. Bring the left foot to the right inner thigh. Tree pose for Shasana. One more breath in. And then exhale, release the foot. Let it slide to the outside of the right foot. Pinky toe to pinky toe, inhale, and then exhale, folding 
over top of the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, uncross the legs, plant the hands, step the feet back, press back, down dog. And then from here, we're going to inhale, lift the right leg, step that right foot between the hands, and then bring the right hand to the inside. We're going to walk the hands kind of behind us, seeing if you can kind of wiggle that right shoulder underneath the right knee. And then maybe you can float one arm, maybe the other arm, your witch, flying witch on a broomstick. Maybe from here you want to take a bind, you can reach the hands together. And staying wherever you are, keep going, find your edge. We're going to hop that left foot all the way forward. Lift the right heel. And then slowly pressing into that left foot, coming all the way up to stand in more bird of paradise. So pressing through that left foot. Maybe you would extend that right leg if the hamstrings are open enough. And then we'll slowly Step the right foot back, down. Step the left foot back. Coming back the way we came. Unwind. Bring the palms down. Step that right foot back. And then inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three. Nice, slow, deep breaths here. And then we'll inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, step it forward, nice and gentle. Bring my left hand to the inside. And then starting to walk those hands back towards kind of the middle of the mat. Still reaching the chest forward though. And then maybe wiggling that left shoulder under, lengthen, reach that left arm up, reach the right arm up, using the core, using those nice strong legs. Maybe you take the bind, reaching the right hand behind the back of that left hand. And then maybe you start to step that right foot forward, come up on the left ball of the foot, press into that right foot, lift all the way up to your bird of paradise. Finding your balance and maybe playing with lengthening out that left leg, reaching through those left toes. Oh, I kicked my monstera. And then slowly coming all the way back down. Step the right foot back into that lunge. Release the hands, come back down. Step the left foot back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your mat. Reach the arms back. Inhale, lift, locust pose. Reaching through the fingertips, reaching through the toes. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, bring the forehead back to center. Once more, lift up, locust pose, lift, lift, lift. And then exhale, bring the left. Cheek onto the mat. And then bring the palms underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back, down dog. 
Taking a breath, walk it out, bend the knees. How do those hips feel? How do the hamstrings feel? And then slowly bring the knees down, lie, toes touch, child's pose, melting forehead into the mat. 